Next at five tonight, 24 hours later, still more questions than answers after three bodies are found within hours of each other in one Grand Rapids neighborhood. Tonight, police have identified all three victims, a young woman, 20 year old Anaya Rodriguez, along with two others, 19 year old Malik Eubanks and 32 year old Daryl Yarber. Police saying all suffered fatal gunshots, but the circumstances surrounding their deaths remain unclear. Tonight, we're bringing you team coverage from Neighborhood Reaction to the latest on the criminal investigation. We kick things off with Fox 17's Michael Martin. It was just after 1030 AM Monday morning, a man and his friend walking down Horton Avenue on Grand Rapids Southeast side when they see what they think is a pile of clothes in the road. They approach and find it is a young man setting off a chaotic day for investigators and the people in this neighborhood. Very young people, uh, 19 and 20. Two people, a young man and woman quietly disposed of in the middle of a neighborhood on Grand Rapids Southeast side just before 1030 AM Monday. A call of a homicide that's usually uh, preceded by a call of loud sounds of popping, loud shots, even sometimes fireworks, but we didn't have any of that yesterday. The pair who knew each other intimately ID by police Tuesday as 20 year old Anaya Rodriguez and 19 year old Malik Eubanks. Eubanks son just two years and 11 months old was found wandering about a mile from the scene. But he was covered in blood. Yeah, you know, that suggests that he was likely uh, probably present for the murder which is uh, devastating. This initial crime scene stretched for blocks. As you can see on this map of the neighborhood, the bodies were discovered nearly a quarter mile away from one another. Over the fact that the bodies were left uh, geographically in, in two places and then the, the young boy was left about a mile away. We know there was likely a car involved. The body of Anaya Rodriguez was found here. A neighbor believes this video she caught on her home security system shows the 20 year old being thrown from a suspect's vehicle. They could have been killed either in some other location altogether or inside that motor vehicle. So Monday afternoon, we're standing here at the intersection of Horton and Melville reporting on Anaya's body being found just behind me when we hear what sounds like multiple gunshots coming from immediately in that direction. Yeah, this is absolutely insane. Three murders in one day. I can't say for sure that they're connected, but the experienced police officer in me says there's a very good chance that they're connected. Yeah. As crowds of neighbors and onlookers gathered nearby the reactivated crime scene on Horton, investigators were working to track down any suspects. If you have a, uh, an incident where you think the offender either arrived or departed, in a motor vehicle, there are so many cameras uh, across the country, really, that it gives you a, a path as an investigator to seek out many opportunities. Eventually, they find this around 8 p.m. Monday evening on Sherman, a few miles north of Horton. A vehicle police say is connected to the killings. Secretary of State records show it registered to Anaya Rodriguez. A lot of work for our forensic investigators, a lot of work for the detectives, so there's so many moving parts to this. The man killed in the later shooting was identified as 32-year-old Daryl Yarber. While investigators still aren't sure if all three murders are connected, Chief Eric Winstrom says it seems likely. And in my experience, to have a murder so soon thereafter in uh, such a close geographic circumstance. It's uh, it's not common and it, there's a strong possibility that it is related, whether it's an individual that, that came back because they were looking uh, to uh, take more actions like they did originally or whether this was a revenge that someone was coming back uh, to take revenge for what happened. Now, if you have any information about any of the people who lost their lives on Monday or potential suspects or other suspect vehicles, you're asked to contact the police department or if you want to do it completely anonymous, you can do it through Silent Observer. For now in downtown GR, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News.